anesthetist Monica Bermelin is about to perform an unusual experiment. Her patient today is a houseplant. The slightest touch makes its leaves spring shut. Normally, that's a defense against insects, not hospital staff. The anesthetist is going to try to stop the mimosa's signature leaf movement. She's giving it a drink of ether, an early knockout drug used in humans. After an hour, it's time to test the result. There's not a flicker of movement. The mimosa seems to be out cold. In humans, ether works to stop nerve cells from transmitting signals. But a plant has no nerves. So why does the ether work? The answer might lie elsewhere in Germany, at the University of Freiburg, where Professor Edgar Wagner is conducting an experiment on electricity. It was long thought that plants do not use electrical signaling, but that thinking has changed. Professor Wagner will demonstrate how electrical signals pass through a plant. Electrodes connect the plant to a computer, able to record the faintest of electrical signals. This plant is in for a shock. The professor burns a leaf. And the computer comes alive. The injured plant is producing a definite electrical signal. A 50 millivolt charge races across its body and down its stem, passing through the same tiny tubes as its sap. It surges forward like a human nerve signal, though the signal moves more slowly than it does in humans. The plant shows a definite electrical reaction to the flame. Likewise with the mimosa, Tests suggest that electrical signals are what trigger the plant to flinch. When the mimosa was treated with ether, it stopped transmitting these signals and went to sleep. These are just two examples of electricity in plants.